Most people think they have to be off the cuff when they're recording their videos, but the best way to make videos faster and easier is actually to use a video script. Now, if you're like, hold up, I don't wanna sound scripted. I don't want people to see that I'm reading something. Don't even fret, I got you, friend, because in this video, you are getting 10 of my secrets for reading a video script naturally on camera. I'm Shauna Yurko and I help entrepreneurs grow their business with engaging video that stands out. And I've spent the last 12 years producing videos and writing scripts that don't sound scripted. And I'm gonna share tips for using a teleprompter and also tips that don't involve using a prompter at all. Let's get into it. Secret number one to look more natural when you are reading your video script is to set up your prompter at eye level or just slightly above and to make sure it is level. Shooting from eye level makes you look most natural on your videos. Don't shoot from too much of a downward angle and definitely do not shoot from below. Secret number two, you need to position yourself far enough away from the camera so that people cannot see your eyes moving. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see when business owners are filming their videos with a prompter. Secret number three to look natural when you are reading a video script is to read from the right place on a screen. This can make or break whether or not you look like a pro or an amateur. There are different techniques for shooting on a phone or shooting on a camera. Here's how I would set up my prompter when I'm recording videos with my DSLR camera. When you put the prompter over the camera, make sure the reflection of the words is directly over the camera lens. For me, I always end up having to move the phone slightly to the right so the beginning of the words is centered over the lens. Now, if you are recording horizontally with your phone, there are a couple things to keep in mind. It's really, really important to record far enough away from the phone so people don't see your eyes moving, as we said in tip two. And read the lines that are directly in the center of the phone. When you record vertically on your phone, you wanna read the words when they are at the top of your phone screen, closest to the camera. The closer your eye line can be to the camera lens, the more natural you're going to look. If you follow these tips, you'll also make sure your eyes don't look creepy or weird, and it will not be obvious that you are reading. By the way, if you want a tutorial for my favorite teleprompter app, check out this video here after you finish watching these tips. Secret number four, to read a script naturally on camera. If you wanna make your videos sound natural, your script needs to actually be written in a certain way. You gotta write in your own voice. Your words need to sound like you. And don't write like you write. Write like you speak, include slang, incomplete sentences, things you say in real life. Don't try to sound too formal unless that's how you speak every day with people in conversations. And that's actually tip number five. You gotta make your tone sound conversational. Whether or not you choose to use a teleprompter, you don't want your videos to sound like a presentation. You want them to feel like you are talking to someone in real life because honestly, the people who are watching your videos on Instagram or YouTube, they're probably watching them by themselves at their kitchen table or on their couch. Talk to them like they're a human, not a camera lens. Secret number six is format your script in the right way. This is important when you are using a teleprompter. You gotta write in short sentences. Use active voice instead of passive voice to keep things engaging and not rambly. Not only does this help when you are actually reading on the prompter and you don't get lost, but this will also insert natural pauses and it helps you not to rush through your delivery. Secret seven to read a video script naturally on camera is to find a speed that works for you. You want to go for a speed that feels like you have high energy when you're talking, but you're not rushing. For me, because of my personality and my already high energy, I choose a speed that is just barely too fast. And then whenever I fall too far behind, I'll walk up to the camera and scroll back to where I left off. So play around with it and see what speed feels good to you. Secret eight is to pay attention to what your face is doing. Smile when you're talking, or at least between sentences. This will improve your tone and you will seem much more approachable on camera. Also make sure you're blinking. Don't open your eyeballs super wide like a psychopath. Sit back and relax. Let your eyes crinkle if you're smiling. Just be a human. Show emotion that reflects what you are saying in your video. Secret number nine, set your stance and your posture before you start recording. It's always best to record standing whenever you can because it keeps your posture open and confident. Sitting makes it easy to slouch and look sloppy. But when I'm recording, I like to turn on my five second timer on my prompter app so that I have a moment to go get set on my mark. And once I'm standing where I'm supposed to stand, I like to roll my shoulders back and down, take a deep breath and smile. Always start your videos with a smile on your face. The 10th secret to looking natural when you're reading a video script is for those of you who don't want to use a teleprompter. If you are not using a prompter, you should still write a script. It makes sure that you are creating valuable video content, that you're not rambling. You don't have to script it out word for word. Just know what the subject matter is that you're going to say. And then you can record your script in chunks. This will help you to look more natural and you don't have to memorize anything. And guess what? I'm actually gonna throw a bonus secret in here for you. You gotta practice. You will not get more natural on camera if you don't practice. You will not get better at reading a script if you don't 
practice. Video, my friend, is something that doesn't come naturally to about 95% of the humans on this planet. Even when I was working in Los Angeles, I saw it in the professional models, the professional actors that we worked with. People have to work to get good on camera. And if they can do it, so can you. Heck, if I can do it, so can you. If you like these tips, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and make sure you check out these videos here so you can make better videos that bring you more leads. I will catch you in the next video, my friend.